There are more than a dozen YMCAs in Northeast Florida working to serve and better our community. Well, this is very exciting news here in the Riverside area. The newest YMCA will be open in just about six months. Now, behind me, you can see the Yates YMCA. Well, right there is where you will also be able to find the Winston YMCA in Riverside, scheduled to open, as I said, in August of this year. It will replace that Yates. It will be next door. You know, that Yates has been there since 1954. As far as the new construction, Elizabeth Campbell stopped by and she's going to show us a little bit inside and tell us about how they are going to positively impact our community. Liz? Oh, we're feeling great. We're kind of anxious. We really are building up to it, but we're excited about the opportunities that it's going to bring to Jacksonville and with all our members. So, yeah, we're very excited. Florida's First Coast YMCA President and CEO Eric Mann can't believe the time is here. The newest Jacksonville area YMCA is on schedule to open its doors in August of this year. The new Winston Y will serve the next five generations, just like the Yates Y has served the previous five generations. So we're very excited about it. Uh, the YMCA is going to be able to do even more out in the community, not just in this facility, but in our overall surrounding communities. The Winston YMCA is replacing the Yates YMCA off Riverside Avenue along the St. John's River. I arrived June of 11 and the board, one of the things the board talked about uh, from that, really from there was how do we replace our Yates YMCA which has been here since 1954. Construction began in May 2015 and Eric is excited about what the new facility is going to have to offer. One of the things is that uh, it's going to have a very comprehensive healthy living center included. It will be a 4,000 square foot healthy living center which is a partnership of Baptist Health, Brooks Rehab and Florida Blue and add the Y with it. We're going to be able to really have be a resource, a total resource for wellness in the community. 83-year-old Barbara Sperlin has been going to the YMCA since she was a child, but has been a member of the Yates YMCA for six years now. Good doctors here in Jacksonville said, exercise, exercise, exercise. The instructor we had is still the same instructor I have now. So she's watched me go through a lot of changes in six years and what I'm able to do. I was on crutches at one time, and so do I give the Y credit for that? I do. She's most excited about the bigger workout rooms that will be available at the new Winston facility. Sometimes when we have uh, eight or 10 people, it works for us, but sometimes we have 15 that come in, and it's uh, a little close, you know, then. So we have heard that now we'll have the seniors will have their own special room and all the things that we need and all the equipment. Jim Gale lives at Unity Plaza across the street from the Yates and New Winston location. And he's enjoyed seeing the construction happen right before his eyes. A lot of people are talking about it. Uh, I think with the new push for the city, the new look, um, it's only fitting to have a new YMCA. You know, this does have everything that we need, um, but having the new one will be awesome, especially being closer to the river. Um, we kind of need. The new Winston YMCA will help keep the community active and healthy. But Outreach Director for Florida's First Coast YMCA's Susie Chapman says so much more than physical health will be reached. Um, we have a lot of mentoring and tutoring programs and a lot of outreach that we do in our community. So we don't just service people inside the four walls of the gym, but really out in the community where we can offer hunger programs and summer camps and mentoring and tutoring and just really meeting the needs of the people that are in our community, even if they're not a member of the line. Eric couldn't be more proud of what's to come and encourages the community to come by the construction site to check out the excitement for yourself. This facility has really served its purpose and it's time for us to have the next iteration, the next version. You can call it the Y 2.0 coming with the new Winston YMCA. I'm Elizabeth Campbell for River City Live. 
And you can head to firstcoastymca.org to learn more about the future Winston Y. And you can even watch a live feed of the construction in real time as it's getting done, which is just so cool. That facility, once again, is scheduled to be completed in August. We're going to keep you updated as the construction progresses. Now, tomorrow,